Here's a second video where I talk through solving some of these sum and product puzzles. Uh, just in case you're still having a tough time, I wanted to give you a few more examples to uh, look at and think through. Uh, so on this one here, I need two numbers, uh, and I need my two numbers to multiply to give me negative six. So I need two values that will multiply to give me negative six, and at the same time, I need to use these same values and I need to add these values uh, to get negative one. So let's start thinking through some possibilities here. So what times what would give me negative six? Uh, well, I got one and six and two and three, right? Uh, now you need to think which of these factor pairs would at the same time add to give me negative one. Well, I'm not gonna be able to use one and six to make that happen, but I will be able to use two and three, right? So ignoring the signs for a second, uh, I know that two times three would give me negative six. In order to get my negative one here when I add, you know, I, hopefully we see that we need the negative with the three. So we should have positive two and negative three. Positive two times negative three would give me negative six and positive two plus negative three would give me negative one. All right, let's take a look at a second example. So just like the previous problem, I need two numbers. So this time I'll just call them X and Y. I need two numbers that are gonna multiply together to give me negative 12 and using those same values, I wanna be able to add those numbers to get negative 11. Uh, so if I'm getting negative 12 here with my product, I know that I have to have one value that's negative and one value that is positive. And if I start thinking through my factors of negative 12, first one would be one and 12, and notice that I will be able to use those two values to add to give me negative 11. Uh, as long as I put negative 12 and positive one here, notice that this math works out where negative 12 times the positive one would give me the negative 12, which is what I wanted for this part up here. And if I add these two, negative 12 plus positive one uh, would give me negative 11. Uh, let's talk through one more here. So I need to add two numbers to get, or I need to multiply two numbers to get seven and add two numbers to get eight. So not a whole lot of options here for factors of seven. Seven is a prime number, so you know you're gonna be working with one and seven. And notice that this works out. Uh, positive one times positive seven gives me positive seven, and one plus seven gives me positive eight. Uh, what I'd like you to do now is pause the video and see if you can get those next three. And then in a second here, I'll give you the answers so that you can check your work. All right, so hopefully you had a chance to try these out. Uh, this problem here should be eight and negative one. Positive eight times negative one would give me negative eight. Positive eight plus negative one would give me positive seven. Uh, this one here should be negative four and negative three. Negative four times negative three would give me positive 12. Negative four plus negative three would give me negative seven. On the last one, I should have negative five and negative four. Negative five times negative four gives me positive 20, and negative five plus negative four gives me negative nine. Um, now that you've had some practice with this skill, the next thing will be you know, taking a look at trying to factor trinomials and, and write it as a product of two binomials. But uh, like I said in an earlier video, in order to be able to do that, you really need to be able to think through this process of two numbers that multiply to give you one number, and at the same time, uh, using the same two numbers, they add to give you a second number.